Let's get it! KTV's A1 AM back in on vibing. Guys, we are back with the NBA playoffs. We have the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Denver Nuggets, guys. It is game two, okay? Guys, I watch every minute of this game and I realize why I do not watch the Lakers ever. It's a waste of my time, bro. A waste of my time. These guys are the absolute greatest sellers I've ever seen, bro. You're up the oh my god. Guys, let's just let's just Let's just, let's just watch the video together. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you guys seen the game, y'all sure already know, man. Great, epic shot at the end of the game. Let's just watch it together. Guys, don't forget to follow me on social media for YKTV updates. I'm following back everybody. So go ahead, drop me a follow. The link to the socials are in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know the vibe. Let's get it, y'all. Let's find out how the Lakers sold this one. That shit is crazy, bro. Sorry, sorry if I spoiled you guys. If you're first watching the video, if you try to find out who won. But... I, I didn't even do the video last night, the reaction last night, guys, because on top of that, I was feeling sick. And then watching this game made me feel more sick, okay? So, so I apologize for the late reaction, bro. i never seen a team just collapse. Just collapse, bro. And it's, it's a LeBron team, too. And D'Lo had a great game, bro. I can't blame D'Lo this game at all. It's just a lack of... A lack of is keeping the foot on the gas. You know what I'm saying? When you were back in the day, when teams were up, they used to keep going. Why do? Why does now? Get that block out of here! I remember that block. Get that shit out of here! Great block. Great dunk. It was a great dunk attempt, but great block. <laughs> but uh, King, don't get me wrong, guys. LeBron played great. AD played great. It's just like, it's so heartbreaking. This is a heartbreaking loss for me, bro. I'm never watching these dudes play on TV again, bro. I'm not doing that shit. I'm not doing that shit, bro. And I found out a new thing I'm going to start doing to make me feel better when these niggas ever sell. Good dunk. What I'm going to start doing, I'm going to start putting bets on fan duel, guys. The Lakers losing. That's what I'm going to start doing. So either way, I feel good. If they win... And prove me wrong, a little money, now I'll, I'll take that. If Denver wins like they're supposed to, I'll take my bread. If Lakers are selling and Denver wins, I'll take my bread on fan dude. These dudes sold, bro. They started out so hot, too. I'm like, you know what, I sat there, you know, let me, watch, let me start watching more Lakers game. Because I'm seeing that maybe this guy kept them in the game the entire time. You ever had a feeling when you guys, you don't watch your team play, and you finally feel like, oh, yeah, it's because I wasn't watching them? That I feel like they're losing. So I said, let me just take time to sit down and just watch. What a waste of my time, bro. What a waste of my time. Good shot. And they were never really going. They never really went away. No matter what the lead is against these niggas, they have a mental edge on the Lakers, bro. And AD played. AD looked, AD looked like the best player I've ever seen in the first half. For three quarters. For three quarters. For three quarters, he looked like the best player I've ever seen. And then fourth quarter, just no. Watching this shit twice is kind of blowing my right now, I'm not gonna lie. Vincent, why would they gave Vincent? For what reason? Send him back to the heat. There's some players, guys. There's some players where the shot. Beautiful. I was watching all this. There's some players, guys, that they just play good for a team, bro. The so some players need to just stick where they at for success. He probably, I don't know if he probably got traded. Stuff like that. That shit was crazy. I saw that. Keep this. This count, this count that as an assist at this point, bro. He's already racking up 20 per game. He's already racking like 20 per game. You know why? You know why that happened? You know why that happened? Because... Y'all just stick around and stare at the ball. Guys, what? Guys, please let me know in the comment section below. Why has people stopped boxing out and fighting a man boxing out? Is there a rule against that now? Something that I don't know about? 
Remember back in the day when the ball went up in the air, you find the first man that's that you're guarding, either the man you're guarding or the first man in the basket, and you box them out. What happened to those days? What happened to those days, bro? This is what I see constantly nowadays in the NBA. No one's boxing up. Is there a rule? Let me know in that comment section, bro. I, I must be tripping. I must be tripping, bro. I must be tripping. And you flopping your hands in the air, LeBron. How about you box out? Oh, God. Let me let me not get too upset, bro, because this morning I'm starting to feel maybe a little bit better than last night. Last night I was feeling like absolute dog shit. He was cooking Jokic. I don't know why they went away from this. Too rich. So <sighs> down there. I don't understand. These must be NBA minds. The, the, the NBA minds don't have a, uh, some of the highest IQ in sports. If you're, why are you going away from what's working? Look at this, bro. Why are they going away from what's working, guys? Let me know. Let me know. Maybe, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. The whole time last night, I'm thinking maybe it's me. This, why do we go away from that? Why? I don't care if you switch on Aaron Gordon on him too. Aaron, we should be cooking Aaron Gordon too. Aaron Gordon is shorter than Jokic. I'll see. This is the man right here, the X Factor. That's the X Factor. We don't have an X Factor. It's supposed to be D'Lo. D'Lo played great last night, I don't even wrong, but he comes and goes. I wouldn't be surprised if he plays like Tries in this game. That's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm counting the Lakers out for the rest of this playoffs. I'm betting the, I'm betting all my money against them. I'm betting all my money against them. They ain't shit. They ain't shit. They only show up sometimes. This is a and one on KCP two. Look at him. Look, this is what they do back. This is what they do. even when you grab him. You kidding nothing about it. <laughs> that man is a walking bucket. Choo choo. Right to the tr <laughs> On the tracks. <laughs> Count it. Oh, uh, and this, this is and guys, this is all like Pete. This is all like padding my ego. Watching this game too. I'm watching like uh, this is this is all padding my ego, everything, bro. LeBron, you probably gotta bring the headband back or something, bro. I don't know what's going on. Something's not right with this team. Something's not right. Something's not right. We're up 15 points right now. Imagine me up 15. Back in the day when you're up 15 points, you're most you're gonna win the game. Dudes don't come back from this. Back in the day. And 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 I don't want to hear an excuse about it's a different type of game now because they wasn't shooting the three ball that good last night, Denver. They shot the ball terribly. So you can't say, oh, we're in the age of three point shots now, so you can erase the lead in two seconds. They weren't making any threes. So, like, I don't understand, bro. Let's go with the Lakers. I don't know what's going with the coaching. I don't know what's going with the play. I don't know what's going on, bro. Make me the coach of the Lakers, bro, at this point. Because I will never go away from what's working. I'll never do it. I'll never do it. If, if the pick and roll offense with LeBron and AD is getting buckets, getting everybody open, I'm doing it every time. If AD is cooking, I saw by himself, I'm do I'm going there every time. I will not want a different play until I see that shit not work three times in a row. Or two times in a row. I'm not changing the play, bro. Good shot. And LeBron with 12. You keep scoring on dudes so you force them to double team you. Whatever happened to that I that that logic, bro? Like, what's going on, bro? I don't I don't get it. Imagine being up what's that? 19? Well, 19 right now. Up 19 in the third quarter. And I think this is where it starts going wrong. Yep. Paul Jr. is their X Factor. We had that man on clamps in 2020. Now, not, not anymore. Um, AD, you telling me you couldn't block that? AD, you tell AD, you telling me you telling me you couldn't block this at all? You scared to sacrifice your body to block that? Yeah, I know Joker's a big boy, but you telling me LeBron couldn't block that? You telling me nobody could have blocked that? This slow ass dude. This slow ass move? You telling me LeBron couldn't chase that down? AD couldn't block that? They make this dude seem like the best. I've seen better players than Jokic, bro. I'm I'm just gonna say it. I've seen better play Jokic. I, it's again. I don't know what's going on, bro. <laughs> you know what it is? It's the lack of the big man. The true big man is now going in the NBA. 
Jokic is becoming the true big man. True big men would not let people like Jokic cook them, bro. I'm talking about the White Howard, the JaVale McGee's, the, um, I uh, can't really think, the, I don't know, uh, who's an, who else is an athletic big that I, can, that I can think of right now? But I'm talking about those, the Ben Wallaces of the world. Like, the, you're not, these, the, Jokic is not cooking those dudes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I can't see it happening. I can't see it happening. Because Jokic is doing moves that I've seen people back in the day do, like the Hakeem Elijah ones and everything like that. I'm seeing him do moves that we've seen before. It's nothing new. He's doing what big men are supposed to do. And he's making, you know, like, it's crazy. And he's not even athletic. Ooh. Did I miss that dunk? And by the way, I'm not trying to impede Jokic's greatness at all. But look, these are basic shit. Y'all telling me? Y'all never seen that move before? Like, <laughs> they mad small. We need to bring the big man. We need to bring the big man back. The big man needs to come back to the NBA. The big man. The big man. Cause Jokic is not dribbling out there. He's not. He's not dribbling out there and and sh and cross people over. Look, we see moves like that, bro. He's bringing old school basketball back to the NBA, and nobody can do anything about it because no one's big enough. That's, 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 that's literally what it is, bro. That's all it is. That's all it is. But yo, Nuggets, they have the Lakers number, bro. I was watching this morning. Paul Pierce on the student had the Who's Your Daddy shirt. The Nuggets are the Lakers' daddy. I'm sorry. And they are LeBron's daddy to a further notice. Uh, and that's my goat. That's my goat. I can admit it. Yo, it's over. I, guys, you know, you know that feeling when you know, when you know that no matter what's going on, the other team is going to win? You, you guys have that feeling? You guys know it, right? At this point, we're up, what's that, six points? I already know the Nuggets were going to find a way, bro. I just knew it. Somehow, some way, I knew the Lakers were going to fuck it up. I, kn I don't know what it was going to be, how it was going to happen. I I knew Jamal Moore was going to find something because he was off all game. But I didn't think he was going to do what he did at the end, though. But you guys know what I'm talking about. If you're real sports fans, you know when a team's going to lose. It doesn't matter how, up, how much they're up by. You know. You know when they're going to lose. You know. I've had that instinct since I was a kid, bro. I can tell by the way the, by the way the game is moving, bro. All the other team gotta do is just find it. And pass to LeBron for doing this, bro. Pass to my king for doing this shit, bro. Three ball. When I saw the next three go in, when I saw this one go in, I was like, yeah. Gave Vince you useless, bro. Get out of there. This is bust bro. Bust him bro. When I saw that go in, I'm like, okay. All right. All right, maybe we got a chance. Maybe we got a chance. But then watch this. But then watch this. This is where it starts. Yep. <laughs> Yo, yeah. See, look at people just standing around me. Austin Reeves, you know he's not passing that ball out there, bro. Let's uh, just go. F Everybody just crash for the rebound, bro. Just crash with a rebound. Isn't that what you used to do back in the day with teams that are bigger than you? Everybody just crash with a rebound. There's no way that you're going to get boards over everybody if they all crash. Like, come on, bro. The reason why this team gets so many offensive rebounds is because they can't box out. The Lakers can't box out for some stupid reason. Mm. That's the GOAT right there. I don't care nobody says but, but Nuggets are still his daddy. You know what I mean? <laughs> until further notice. Until, I, until further notice. Look, look, look. It just made AD almost fall just now. Uh, we need a true big man. Get Dwight Howard back here, bro. Get Dwight Howard back here, bro. Get Rondo out of retirement. Get that whole 2020 team back. I don't care how much money you got to pay KCP to come back to the Lakers. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Give all that up for bum ass Westbrook. That's what we did in 2020. Like, no, bro. I don't know what LeBron's talking about. He's cooking, y'all. He's cooking, y'all. Look. <laughs> this one right here is what took it for me, bro. This is the one right here that got me, bro. You tell me you can do anything about that idea? It's just useless. It is useless. You're just, you're just a, a lamb waiting to be slaughtered right here. Is that what you're telling me? 
That's what you telling me. You just, you just, you just, you don't know how to. Go. <laughs> Eighty, I'm not gonna lie. If Eighty, Eighty will get cooked by big men back in the day, bro. Like get, get Hakeem Elijah one out here and see what he gonna do to Ad if Ad's playing like this defense, bro. Watch, like you think Jokic is bad? <laughs> you have no idea, brother. You have no idea. You have no idea. Go no on. Boom! Get out of here! I'm getting high for no reason, though. That's, that's my kid. Guys, you know what? I'm I'm sorry watching Lakers games. I'm doing this highlights solely to see the LeBron plays. It's over. I have no expectations of Lakers team moving forward. I I personally look. That's just, that's just fight. That's just fight. That's just fight. That's fight. And you, Rui, what are you doing out there, bro? Are you gonna crash for the rebound? Are you gonna go help Austin Reeves go get that ball over or Aaron Gordon? Or are you just gonna just let uh um. Uh, Michael Carter Jr. just do whatever he, Michael Porter just do whatever he wants, bro. Like Rudy is absolutely useless this series, bro. Him and Gabe Vincent and damn near Austin Reed this game, bro. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, bro. You just look at Rudy just standing there being all useless, bro. Go help your man. At least go try to trap him in a corner or something. Like, oh, come on, bro. Ugh. Ugh. Look at LeBron's face. Game over. It's game over, bro. Never, never getting my hopes up for this team again, bro. Never gonna, never gonna do it. Honestly, y'all, I was never a Lakers fan to begin with, ever. Now nah, I'm really not. Like, I'm not buying no more LeBron jerseys for the Lakers. I'm not doing it. I bought my last jersey this year. It's not happening no more, bro. I can't do it. Not to further notice. Not to further notice. She'll never again. Actually, never again. Unless they somehow find a way to beat this Nuggets team this season, it's not going to happen. I'm not buying no more LeBron Lakers uniforms, bro. Fuck that. Game. Game time. GG's. Let me see everybody's face real quick. Y'all suck. <laughs> Y'all niggas are trash. <laughs> Look at, I want to see this again, bro. I want to see this again, bro. Look, what is, what is D-Lo even doing out there? d Dilo, what are you even doing out there, brother? Oh man, bro, this is this is hilarious, bro. This is hilarious. Like, what what do you guys think could have happened here? Now, let's, let's let's break this down a little bit. So so Jamal Jamal, I believe Jamal. I don't know for sure. Maybe I'm tripping. I'm talking to myself at this point. Jamal made a mid range shot right before this, I believe. Right, he's he's starting to he's starting to cook right before this moment. He's starting to cook and find his way. We had them unlocked the entire game, but that's not the hero there. Can happen, we go to overtime. Yeah, let's move. Let's move out the way. Yeah, I think LeBron should have just found a way to get on him. Or yeah, I think AD should have stayed on it. And me personally, I feel like AD, isn't that what AD is for? Isn't that why everyone bumps up AD's game, talks smash, hype about him because he's able to defend one through five? Defensive player of the year? Potential? Like, I don't think LeBron should have got Jamal Murray there. I think, I think AD should have got him. At this point, AD's a better defender. You're saying LeBron is the uh, GOAT. And maybe you might say should go guard this. I believe LeBron has LeBron had success guarding Jamal, really? In in recent memory, I don't I don't even know. But I think this happened the way it should have happened. In my personal opinion. And let's keep it a stack. You could be probably even set double team out there, to be honest with you. Because I don't believe any of the players. Why are you gonna let the superstar on his team shoot the ball? Dare KCP to shoot the ball and game it. Dare I might even say MPJ at this point because we all know that Jamal and, and Jokic are really effective in the fourth quarter. They're very clutch players, bro. So, if anything, go some double team. LeBron, go out there and just get the ball out of Murray's hands. Something like that. Something. Something. That shit is crazy, bro. Out of the three-point shot that, like, and then a mid-range right here, like, he's comfortable. He made the last mid-range shot. These are the, these are the things I don't understand. Do basketball minds know what's going on on the court, bro? I know it's in the moment, but like this was what makes good coaching and good IQ. If he made the last mid-range shot, which I think he did it. Let me know if I'm tweak if I'm tweaking. Why would you allow him to set up his offense and go into a shot creating mode? Why would you do that? Send double team. Force someone else to make the shot. Or force Jokic to make a long range shot. I don't think he did that in a little while in this game. I think most of the game, most of the points he made in the fourth quarter were in the paint against AD. Like, come on, bro. Like, I don't understand, bro. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it, bro. It makes no sense. This Lakers team is weird to me. Game time. Count it. 
Count it. Count it. Jamal is that dude. Jamal is that dude. That's game. And honestly, I got the, I think that's game for the series, in my opinion. Guys, let's check out that box score, man. Because this, this, bro. <laughs> uh, the mental edge, bro. The mental. You ever have a mental edge on somebody you already know? You got them right where you want them. No matter how good they're doing, you just know. Like, when it comes down to it, you you on top of the world against them, bro. You on top of the world against them. I don't know. Where is the shot? Right here. Yeah, y'all sure already know the deal with that, bro. April twenty second. Here we go. Oh, congrats to the New York Knicks, by the way. Great, great, great win last night, man. That was beautiful. The way that ended out. I'm from New York City. I'm New York City born and bred, guys. I'm doing this from New York right now. Uh, I've never been a Knicks fan all my life. I think they're sellers as well. The one year I was a Knicks fan is was that year when they're facing LeBron. I think it was like 2012 or 2013 when they had Carmel Anthony in them. I was like, okay, I'm not a Knicks fan, but I was supporting them. I'm like, yeah, they got the the Heat's number, and then like they just folded against LeBron because <laughs> he's a goat. But yeah, cause I got to the Knicks last night though. Jalen Brunson and that team, I think they're gonna go far. But here we go. I don't know if y'all can see this real quick though. Hold on, let me see. Let me see if I can expand it because I know the last couple videos like I could barely see anything. Let me make sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we in good shape. We in good shape here. So, AD, 32 points, 11 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, 1 block. Beautiful, fantastic. Didn't miss any free throws, took 1-3. Didn't have any points in the fourth quarter. If I'm, if, I'm, if I'm correct about that. No points in the fourth quarter. I think most of this guy's points came in the first half. I think he probably scored a couple bucks in the beginning of the third. But we could not see him fourth quarter at all. Um, Hachimura, not good enough. He's the, he's the worst factor on our team so far. That is playoffs till you start. He's the worst factor. I actually had him playing better than D'Lo this series. And that's not the case. D'Lo showed up last night. Rui, you got to wake up, brother. You got to wake up, bro. Or you better be used as a piece for the next offseason to get somebody else. Because yeah, these dudes, dudes are are folding in the biggest moments, bro. Like, I can't believe Rui's playing like this. 26, 12, and 8. Two steals, two blocks for the king. Um, Yo, he played good. I wish he made that last shot. I know the highlights don't show the whole story. LeBron missed the go-ahead three to, to bring him up. To bring him up. That would have sealed the game if he made that three-point shot. It would have been 102-99, and it would have forced Denver to have to make a three to tie it, I believe. Is that the case? Yeah, I think that was it. Yup. So, uh, D'Lo played absolutely fantastic. Seven threes. 50% from the field. 23 points. Three, three bounds. Six assists. I can't ask anything more from D'Lo. D'Lo played absolutely fantastic. Um, Rui, um, Reeves need to get more involved. He missed mad threes. I don't know what's going on with him. Mad shots. Nine points not good enough. Torian Prince, six points. Everybody else, non-factor. Hayes, uh, Vincent, I don't know why we got that man. Go back to wherever you came from. Dinwiddie did absolutely nothing. Go back to wherever you came from, brother. Go back to, go back to Brooklyn, bro. You look better in Brooklyn. Go back to Brooklyn, wherever you came from. Um, Hayes did absolutely nothing. Why well, we even got Hayes in the first place? I thought we got Hayes. For him to be a key factor in these moments when we look small. Why is Jackson Hayes on the team? For what reason? He We completely lost his spot in the rotation. I don't understand why we have him anymore. And then 43% uh, from the three. We shot 43% from the three and couldn't win the game. And 50% from the field damn near. Like, ugh. Just disgusting, bro. And Yoki, I don't know. Aaron Gordon, 14, 7, and 3. Jokic, 27, 20, and 10. 27, 20, and 10. 27, 20, and 10. After a slow start to the game. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Jamal showed up when it mattered most and hit the game-winning shot. Hats off to you, brother. Uh, and this Denver team is gonna make it far, bro. They're real good because because they they show faith in in, their, in in this guy. They have they have they they have faith in this brother, man. Look at he shot nine for twenty four. This is the worst game I've seen Jamal play in a very long time. In a very long time, the worst game I've seen him play in a very long time. Or maybe did he play worse last game? I'm not sure. But yo, all in all, he missed so many shots, but made the key shots that mattered. Congrats on that buzz beater, my brother. I'm not salty. I'm not salty, bro. Congrats. You, you cook you cooked when you need to cook up. KCP with that great dunk. Six points, one rebound, three assists. Ugh. 
Braun came off the bench with with uh ten points, two points from Watson. Yo guys, uh, thank y'all so much for the vibe. If I if I'm a betting man, which I definitely am, I'm gonna be betting all my money against the Lakers. <laughs> I got I'm gonna bet my money in games, whatever game moving forward on the Nuggets. So I can feel happy. I deserve to feel happy. I'm gonna feel happy either way. If the Lakers win, I lose my money. That's fine. Money is just money to me. I feel happy. If Lakers sell like they've been selling, and Denver wins, I'll be happy because I'll make money off that. I don't give a fuck no more. <laughs> All right. This team is just looking like they are mentally owned right now. All right. So guys, thank y'all so much for the vibe. Look out for Game 3 reaction coming real, real soon. Hopefully, Lakers can do something at home, but I doubt it. Them niggas are the ass. Guys, don't forget to follow me on social media for YKTV updates. I'm following back everybody. So, go ahead, drop me a follow. The link to my socials is in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know the vibe. Take care, y'all. Peace.